In the last class, we have discussed about refraction of light and the laws of refraction. Now, let's discuss refraction of light through multiple media. Now, when I say multiple media, a light passing from air to water, then from water to glass and again maybe from glass to air or any other medium. So, you have different sets of medium through which the light passes. That is refraction through multiple media or refraction of light through multiple media. Now, before going into refraction through multiple media, we will write a relation between refractive index of water with respect to air and refractive index of air with respect to water or it's called reversibility of light. Say, you have an incident ray coming and falling in the normal. Say this is air and this is water. So, air is a rarer medium, water is a denser medium. So, it bends towards the normal. So, this is angle of incidence, this is angle of refraction. And say I have kept a mirror here. Now, what happens? When you place a mirror, this light ray after refraction will come and fall on this mirror and get reflected and after reflection it will follow the same path that means it comes falls on the mirror and it reversed it is reversed like this in this direction so when i write refractive index of water with respect to air it is sign of angle of incidence by sign of angle of refraction. Now, after reflecting from this mirror, this becomes our first medium and this becomes our second medium. So, how do we write refractive index of air with respect to water can be written as sign of angle of refraction to sign of angle of incidence. Now look at these two equations. One is just the inverse of the other which means if I invert this or if I write 1 by this I get the first equation. So we can say NWA is equal to 1 by NAW. This is the relation between refractive index of two mediums when we change the first medium and the second medium. So this is called reversibility of light. So refractive index of one medium with respect to another medium can be written as N to 1 and this can be equal to 1 by N 1 2. This is a general formula which we can use in our derivation. Now we will consider a glass slab. So you have a glass slab. So this is glass. You have air here. You have air here. So a light ray coming and falling from air at the glass air interface going through glass and then again going back to air. So you have an angle of incidence. This is angle I gets refracted. This is a rarer medium. This is a denser medium. So, towards the normal. So, this is refraction 1. So, R1. Now, for this interface, that is the glass air interface, this becomes the incident ray. It comes and falls here. Now, it is a denser medium to a rarer medium. So, it goes away from the normal. So, it goes away from the normal. So, this I take it as angle of incidence, this is angle of refraction and this is angle of emergence. Now, these two are normal. So, they are parallel. This is a ray which acts as a transversal. So, you have a ray cutting two parallel lines. So, this angle and this angle becomes equal. What's the reason? Alternate angles. So I repeat that once again. 
you have two nodules like this which are parallel lines you have the transversal so this angle and this angle will become equal because they are alternate angles so let's write first sin i by sin r r so what is this refractive index of glass with respect to a now for the second interface how can we write it sin r1 by sin e is equal to n of air with respect to glass now in this i can take this as 1 by n g a okay so from this n g a becomes sin e by sin r n g a becomes so n g a becomes sin e by sin r so what did we do children we have written two equations for refraction at both of these interface and n a g is written as 1 by n g a now from this n g a becomes inverse of this that is sin e by sin r now look at these two equations the same n g a n g a and what is the other side sin i by sin r1 and sin e by sin r1 sin r1 and sin r1 are same so that means sin i and sin e has to be equal or angle i is equal to angle e so for a glass slab you can say that angle of incidence and angle of emergence that means it starts from a particular medium it passes to another medium and it returns to the same medium again that is after two refractions so the angle of incidence will always be equal to angle of emergence and this particular point we are going to use in our derivation of refraction through multiple medium now we will go to refraction through multiple medium so i have taken multiple mediums here say this is air water glass and back to air you can take any sets of medium so i have named them 1 2 3 and back to the same medium so i write it as 1 now let us look at how the light ray travels through all these medium so the first ray incident ray you have one two interface so angle of incidence angle of refraction r1 then this ray goes and meet the next interface that is 2 3 interface it again refracts at an angle r2 then you have the third interface that is 3 1 and it goes out or it bends at an angle e that is angle of emergence i took it as angle of emergence or that is a third angle of refraction now just like we did it for a glass slab you have r1 say as this angle because you have two parallel rays cut by a transversal so alternate angles so i can write this is r1 and this also as r1 same way this is r2 so this is also r and the last angle is e so i hope all the angles are clear to you i r1 r1 r2 r2 e now let's take step by step each interface and write the refractive index of that interface and obtain a relation between all the refractive indices that is interface 1 2 interface 2 3 and interface 3 1 now we will consider the first interface that is 1 and 2 so n 2 1 refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium is equal to sin of i by sin of r1 this is the 
first interface. Now let's write the second interface that is N32 that is refractive index of the third medium with respect to the second medium. So what do you get? Sin R1 divided by sin R2. For this is for the second interface. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of refractions. Angle of incidence, angle of refraction. Now let's consider next interface. That is 3 and 1. So refractive index of again first medium with respect to the third medium will be sin this is R2 divided by sin E. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of refraction. So you get N13 is equal to sin R2 divided by sin E. Now just before when I explained a glass slab I told you like when you start from a medium and return to the same medium the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of emergence and that is in specific when you have parallel medium. So all these mediums are parallel so you can say angle I is equal to angle E. So if this holds good we can say sin R2 by sin I. We can just replace this sin E by sin I. So these are the various refractive indexes. Now we have to obtain a relation between all three of them or simply multiply all the refractive indexes and show what it is equal to. And that's very interesting. So let's multiply all the three n to 1 into n3 to into n13 this will be equal you have to multiply RHS as well so I take sin i by sin r1 into sin r1 by sin r2 into sin r2 by sin r now look at this these two goes off sin i sin sin r1 sin r sin r2 sin r2 so what does this equal to this is equal to 1 so you can say that when you have multiple medium and when light passes through all these medium then the product of all the refractive indexes of the interface or the refractive index of one medium with respect to the previous medium will be equal to 1 that is the product of all the refractive indexes is equal to 1. So given the refractive index of any two of them, you can always find the refractive index of the third medium. So this is refraction of light through multiple media. Thank you.